Hello again guys, um, I'm uh, back today to show you a new Voyager Ubuntu, well, it's actually Zubuntu, it's an XFCE distribution. So this is Voyager Linux, uh, if you go to the website you'll find that they have uh, several different releases, uh, the ones I'm looking at are this is the X version of the 1404, which has a little bit newer kernel. And I also have the Debian version installed on another machine, and I will do a review on that within a few days. But I wanted to show you this because it is unique in many ways. Um, it comes out of the box with several built-in utilities that you don't often see uh, on uh, the run-of-the-mill uh, distributions. I tend to prefer distributions that have something unique. Um, if it's if it's just got uh, you know a few different desktop wallpapers and um, then it really doesn't interest me. I would prefer just to go after the the, the you know the big guys the um, Ubuntu, Lubuntu. Uh, Zubuntu. I would prefer to go after those guys, but um, because I'm getting the stability. But uh, in this case, what Voyager has done is they've taken Zubuntu and they've modified it significantly uh, in order to add a lot of uh, great utilities and resources. So I'm going to go through those briefly and then you can uh, go to their website and do a little exploring on your own. And what we'll do is we'll start with the conkeys. They have two conkeys. One in, in the lower left, you can see it's uh, got the time of day, the date, um, RAM usage, hard drive usage, and CPU usage. Uh, it's, uh, it's got Wi-Fi here, but it doesn't seem to see. I'm on a uh, Ethernet, so uh, it's not uh, clocking any Wi-Fi. And so that's one conkey. In the lower right, you see there's another conkey that just shows you what desktop you're on. Now, I only, I'm only using one desktop, so um, that's pretty much it for me. But if you were using uh, two, three, or four desktops, it would show you which one you were on. Uh, it's kind of a visual indicator of what desktop you're using. Now up in the, uh, now you can see uh, uh, on the icons I do have Battle.net installed, Hearthstone, they run fine. Uh, I've got Steam installed, Steam games run fine. So th they they have, uh, and this, this computer um, has integrated graphics, so that it's not a separate graphics card, uh, nothing super spectacular, uh, but it does, does fine with the games. Now in the top left, you'll see the XFCE, uh, the whisker menu. It's That's the typical whisker menu. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time out of that. You can see the categories and all the all the games, all the accessories, graphics, internet. Um, there's a lot of, uh, they have a lot of um, programs come out of the box. And of course, you can add the ones that uh, you might find that are not there. You might find that you need. Now, what I want to concentrate on are the things that are not run-of-the-mill. Uh, if you look at the, now the, the little star up at the top left, that's kind of a places thing where you can find all your files and it's, it's, it's kind of a file explorer. The next one over though is a little different. It's called Slings Cold and it is a, uh, an app launcher. Now you can you can uh, type up in the top box, kind of like GNOME. You can type, and it'll pull up whatever uh, whatever you type in. For example, if I type, it'll bring up Firefox. So this is nice. It's not something you see on a lot of the uh, Zubuntu uh, distributions. I really like that feature. 
Coming over to the right hand side, you see this little down arrow? Click on that and you've got a terminal. And again, that's not something you see all the time. There is a basically a terminal that's half the screen. You've got plenty of room there. Click it, it goes away. You click the uh, search icon, you've got Synapse, similar to Spotlight in uh, on a Mac. So you can type anything in here. You can search all, you can search applications, audio, places, documents, really useful. Then this little uh, time machine, it's kind of a similar icon to time machine. You click it, it brings up your backups. Now I haven't configured any backups, but it's got the configuration screen. You can schedule backups. You can uh, designate folders to save, folders to ignore, the storage location. It's terrific. Uh, this little uh, antenna, that's a uh, an internet radio app. Now this distribution is made in France and so they've got a lot of French stations here. But right below that you'll find your uh, typical internet radio uh, categories. Jazz, Latin, classic rock, classical, pop rock, oldies chill country so it's got pretty much something for everybody um, and again that doesn't come normally prepackaged so I've got the rest of my uh, typical icons here I do have my Bluetooth caffeine clip it uh, Ethernet my network P sensor redshift and if you come over here this this little man that's the uh, restart shut down log out that's typical so that's nothing unusual there but the next one over is what they call the personal space so if you click on it it brings up a calculator and a notepad and I believe and you, you, you guys can do a little checking on your own I believe you can configure that to pop up your favorite applications now, in, that's great on its own, but in addition, it has more. If you bounce your cursor against the right side of the screen, you will see another panel. And on there, you've got your four desk spaces, your workspaces. Then this here, that's a basically a uh, terminal file explorer. As you can see, it's got a lot of locations. And you, uh, now I haven't uh, played a lot with this, but um, it's a full screen terminal type file explorer. And what else do we have? This is a double pane uh, terminal window. So you can get a lot of, if, you, if you're, you know, into coding, programming, um, and you do a lot of uh, terminal or uh, command line work this would be great for you uh, then they've got a music now this looks like a terminal window on the left are all of the, your file locations and on the right you can create playlists so uh, and again I haven't gone through these in any detail but uh, you may find that this is useful for you I don't really use it Uh, let's see. XBMC is is loaded out, out of the box. It comes uh, pre-installed, and it's accessible from this side panel. XB, XBMC is a very very nice program. It's called Cody now. Then you have uh, an equalizer for some reason that's not coming up I think it's a glitch on my system but that's an EQ for your music and let's see this is what they call the Voyager box uh, basically this is a system configuration tool uh, the Voyager wall 
is basically themes. Now if you click on Voyager themes you'll see all of the themes that are pre-installed and it is extensive. These are all pre-installed themes and as I said before they've put a lot of work into this uh, configuring it in such a way that it goes above and beyond the normal Zubuntu uh, distribution. So we will get out of that and we will now you can also access the box by right clicking see that Voyager box uh, it's got a conkey control plank control for your dock search this is a, a reparation uh, it's a repair so there's all kinds of things that you all kinds of uh, uh, repairs to your system that you can make and that's and then a security audit now you'll find that some of the terminology because this is a French distribution some of the terminology you'll find in French and in English uh, I haven't found anything that I could not understand uh, but you might find a little bit here and there in French uh, that may uh, you might look at and not quite understand but if you take a look at it usually they'll have some type of an English translation and again lots of uh, lots of ways that you can modify your system I mean they've done under reparation you can see there's a, an OS on installer a boot repair reset your panel XFCE reset your XFCE windows a lot of bridging cache clearing space on your computer so and this is a peti repair petitions so uh, as you can see there there are so many useful utilities they've really done a very good job and now moving on to the panel let's see this is basically system information so if you if you look along the top of the screen you see system if I click on it there is an outline of my entire system if you look at net stats there's all of my network information non-free these are all the non-free packages installed activity every everything that's happening within the system is here it's absolutely fantastic got Wi-Fi and resources so as you can see this is not your run-of-the-mill Zubuntu distribution this comes loaded with uh, great software and really useful utilities but as you can see this right panel has all kinds of useful uh, tools that you can get a lot of information on your system so uh, the again it's uh, Voyager Linux uh, this is the, the, the Ubuntu version uh, if you take a look at their website they have a lot of different releases I'm sure you'll find one that uh, works for you and as I said they also have a Debian um, I believe they've got a Debian 7 version and a Debian 8. I have the Debian 8 version installed on my other computer and I'm going to do a review on that within a few days. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, uh, if, if you did uh, give it a thumbs up, rate it and uh, subscribe if you will. Thank you, take care and I'll see you soon.